He's back. Him hunting heads and without a license. Oh! Officer, officer, there's a murder in there. He wants to cut off my head. Well, call the police. Police! I am the police! Boss, he's after me again. I hit him over the head with a picture frame and then he tried to strangle now, me. Now, Harry, please, don't let's go through all that again. Well, Mr. Perkins, I'm glad to see you. Did uh, something happen? Something happened? A maniac hit me with a picture the minute I stepped into that office. If I see him again, oh, help me, I'll... That's him! That's the man! Oh, Mr. Perkins, believe me, I, I didn't know it was you. I, I thought you were a crazy man. I, I, what? Mr. Perkins, it was all a misunderstanding. Believe me, it won't happen again. It better not. I'm a very patient man, and I never get a kind of... But one more thing happens to me. Nothing huh? else will happen. No. Here, your, your hat is all crushed, Mr. Perkins. I'll <gasps> fix it for you. Oh! Here's oh! The... Why, you... No, I... no, no! Jackson! Well, I'm very happy that you understand. Now, you go right in, Mr. Perkins. I'm sure you'll find this quiz program very entertaining. Mm. Harry, I've got the old boy calmed down now. For Pete's sake, be careful. And no home should be without one. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your master of ceremonies, Harry Von Zell. Thank you. Thank you very much. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome once again to our fun show, People Are Peculiar. And aren't we all? <laughs> As you know, we select our victims, oh, pardon me, our contestants, we call them, from the studio audience, and we ask them questions. Of course, if they answer the question correctly, they get the usual fine prizes. But if they should unfortunately miss a question, <laughs> what happens to them should only happen to a scotch and soda. <laughs> He's a joy. <laughs> Well, we may as well get on with the show. You've all heard the program and know how we handle things here. We try to be as reasonable as possible with the contestants, and we do have a lot of fun, don't we? <laughs> now, here is our first contestant for the evening, Mr. Uh, what is your name? Oh, Hammerhead. <laughs> well, I'm in serious trouble, friends. I'll see you next week at the same time, I hope. Good night, everybody. Hey, 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 Oh, it's you. Nobody else but. I thought for a minute you were that goon who wants to cut off my head. Say that again slow like, Mr. Harry. My ears can hear some of the craziest things. He wants to kill me, I tell you. He's got a little bag to put my head in. Oh, neither did warn you. He's out there. He'll murder us both. Come on, help me here. Here, get another chair, a big one. Mr. Harry. Come on, come on, Cyril, with that stuff. You want that goon to get in here? Why, well, he's the ugliest looking character you ever saw. You see what I mean? See, oh!
Miss Harry, is that you? If it ain't, don't bother about answering. <laughs> Listen, you'll have to go faster than I can. Oh, no! Oh. Whoa, doggone that Fibber McGee. always running around looking for heads. Why don't you take that one? Uh -uh. It's your head I want. Oh, you and your bloody brothers. You're stubborn. That's what's the matter with you. And fold in the white three eggs. Then you go bake in an oven. Yeah. Oh, you bake in an oven of 350 degrees. Yeah. And high. And be sure. Be sure. Cream, sugar, and butter. And a pinch oh. of salt. This is your friendly philosopher, ladies and gentlemen of Radio Land, bringing you a cheery message on this beautiful day. Don't worry, friends. If trouble comes, laugh it off. <laughs> Relax. Don't get excited. A, a sunny smile. A sunny smile will drive away your cares. Don't get excited. Calling all cars? What? What's the meaning of this outrage? Get out, you rattle! Get out! Peace and quiet have rewarded our efforts. Oh! Oh! Stop it! It ain't enough! Let's see, get him! Call out the riot squad! Oh! You... Oh! I'll get you, you reptile! Oh. Oh. He's a blood brother! Continue, Mrs. Bonzel. You see, Judge, I had to teach Harry a lesson or divorce him and... Well, I didn't want to divorce him because I love him. The big clown. So, I got my friend Mr. Zink to put on a little dark makeup and play a joke on my husband. It seems to have gone a little further than I expected. That lady is an understatement. Oh, Judge, I do hope my plan worked. Well, has it? So help me, Judge, never another practical joke as long as I live. Very well. Case dismissed. Oh, well, thank you, Judge. Jeez. Oh! <laughs> 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 